In today's tutorial, we're going to look at how we created these book covers using AI book cover generation tools, book cover templates, and some creative thinking. Now, to follow along and create your own AI book covers, simply head over to Scribble and sign up for an account. Once logged in, you'll be on your main books page. So let's create our first book here. Now, today we're going to focus primarily on the right side over here, which allows us to create book covers using AI tech. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to enter something into the prompt here. So in order to do this, we need to know essentially what type of book cover we're trying to generate. So let's imagine that I'm working on a sci-fi novel. So in my prompt, I might enter something like futuristic village in the Amazon rainforest. Then I could select that I want to use a surreal art style. And then I'll select that I want to generate five book covers. Now, keep in mind, if you're on a free account, only select one here since free accounts are limited in the number of AI runs that they can perform. And you don't want to burn through your free runs too quickly. But if you have a pro account like me, you can just set this to a higher number like four or five. So I'll select five here and then I'll wait for my responses. Now, as you can see, the AI is able to generate some pretty interesting book covers for us. Out of these results, I think I like this one the best. But before selecting this book cover, let's see what happens when we change around the prompt a little. So rather than saying village here, let's say something like city to see what impact this has on the result. Now, after running this request, you'll see that the images come back with much grander urban environments. Now, we could even change this again to say something like megacity. Notice how the AI can pick up on these differences in the prompt and generate images accordingly. Or perhaps we want to get away from this kind of green and natural color palette into something a little bit cooler, maybe bluer with a little bit more white. Now, in order to do that, let's imagine that our sci-fi novel takes place on a snowy planet or a winter planet. So let's change our prompt to be futuristic winter mountain village. Now, notice here when I run this, our results are much cooler with many more blues and whites in the palette. Now, currently, we're playing with this kind of surreal art style, and this can be great for generating some pretty imaginative book covers. So let's try pushing this surreal style to its limit by typing in something strange, like futuristic mountain village, mountains in the shape of a man with a woman in a dress walking in the wind. Now, let's see how the AI handles this request. So here we go. I think these are some pretty interesting results here. It's interesting to see how the AI kind of prioritizes the different parts of this prompt. But now let's get away from this surreal sci-fi style and into another style. Let's imagine that we're writing a romantic novel. So let's type in something now like woman in a dress standing on a cliff overlooking the ocean and mountains. What we'll do now under art style is we'll select melancholic. Now, notice we have an entirely different style of book cover to work with. Or imagine we're writing a fantasy novel. Let's type in dragon flying in the mountains, winter, and fog. And under style, we'll select dark fantasy. Now, as you can see, we get some pretty interesting options in this fantasy genre as well. So as you can see, you can design book covers using AI by giving creative prompts that incorporate the content as well as the style you want to use. But I also showed you how you can get creative regarding your color palette by using keywords that contain primarily the color palette you're looking for. For example, a word like jungle or forest will generate images with primarily greens in the color palette, while using words like desert will create warmer palettes, winter, colder palettes, and so on. You can even explicitly state the colors you want to use by writing them in the prompt. So for example, you could write something like blue or black and white and so on. Now, the built-in book cover generation AI tool within Scribble can also help you with alignment and negative space with your book cover. So for example, there are many book covers out there that use symmetry as one of their main design principles. So let's take one of our previous prompts, but add the word symmetry or symmetrical to it. So let's type in symmetrical dragon flying in the mountains winter fog now notice here our results are much more symmetrical or imagine we wanted to add some text near the top of our book cover so let's try the same search but now we'll add the word negative space and minimalist to our prompt now i'll type in negative space minimalist dragon flying in the mountains winter and fog now notice how these book covers give us much more negative space and room to place text on our cover 
As you can see, when it comes to writing prompts within Scribble, it's really quite a creative process. So here, I'm going to download one of these book covers I created, and then I'm just going to download one of these book cover templates. Now notice that there is a small and a large template that I can download. For example, this little icon allows me to download a um, small template and this one a large one. If you're on a free account, you'll only be able to see the small option. But if you have a pro account, you can see this um, larger option as well. Now I'm just going to use the small one for this example because these images are quite large. They're just over a thousand pixels wide and long. And this will be fine for most use cases. But if we wanted to professionally produce these book covers, we'd need to use this AI upscaling tool, which you see here represented by this upscaling icon. Again, this is only visible for pro accounts. You're not going to be able to see this on your free account. And I'll talk about this more in a moment. But for now, let's just use this default image as well as this small template. So simply open up the template in your favorite photo editing software. Now I'm using Photoshop here, but you could use the uh, free photo editing program called GIMP if you wanted to as well. Now for typography, I'll set my title here, my author name here, a short description of what my book is about here, and once I get a review, I can even add that up here as well. Now all of these things come together, uh, the content of the image, the color palette, the choice of typography, uh, and so on, and give a strong kind of nod towards the genre that we're working with in here. And essentially, everything comes together here to help you communicate what your book is about, which helps you attract the right audience to your book. Now, once I have everything to re-upload, I can just head back over to Scribble and re-upload this image by clicking on Edit here, and then uh, re-upload my image over here. Now, this will swap out the non-text version with the text one. Now, in most cases, this book cover will work perfectly for what you're trying to do. Also, it's important to note that using this AI generated art within Scribble, what you get is you get full usage rights to commercialize the images that you create, including the right to reprint, sell and merchandise. However, keep in mind that the AI art images that are created within a free plan are relatively small. And although they'll work perfectly for the web, you'll be required to have a larger uh, book cover size if you want to print physical copies or distribute professional eBooks. Your minimum resolution in most cases will need to be about 2,560 pixels in height by about 1,600 pixels in width with a 300 DPI resolution. Now, if you require these professional settings, you'll need to have a Pro Scribble account. Pro users will have a link to image upscaling, which I showed you previously here on the book cover. All you need to do is simply click on this icon and a AI generated upscaled version of your book cover will be downloaded for you. So just click on this icon if you need a larger version of the image. However, keep in mind that downloading a larger image will count towards your AI usage credits. So only download images that you actually plan on using because you don't want to waste credits on upscaling alone. So I hope you found this tutorial as well as these resources helpful. Again, a link to sign up for Scribble can be found in the description below. Happy writing, everyone.